everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Garrett Campbell. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the medication known as teriparatide. Its brand name is Fortio. And before I talk about the medication itself, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only and not to be used as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. Now, during this presentation, we'll discuss the mechanism of action or how this medication works, indications or reasons we would prescribe this medication to a patient, followed by contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe uh, teriparatide. Then discuss an example of dosing and finish it off with side effects with percentages. I put together some slides to go over this information. Let's jump right into it. So the first thing to discuss here would be the mechanism of action or how this medication works. So teriparatide is a synthetic human parathyroid hormone or PTH that mimics the biologically active 34N terminal region of endogenous PTH. PTH is the primary regulator of calcium and phosphate in the bones and kidneys. In terms of indications or reasons we would prescribe this medication to a patient, well, first off, we may see this medication prescribed in the treatment of primary or hypogonadal osteoporosis in men. It may also be used for osteoporosis due to corticosteroid use, as well as postmenopausal osteoporosis in individuals at high risk of a fracture. With respect to contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe teriparatide, well, we wouldn't give this medication to a patient who had a hypersensitivity to teriparatide, or to any other component of the formulation. Now for an example of dosing with teriparatide. So in the treatment of primary or hypogonadal osteoporosis in men, we may see a dose of 20 micrograms given subcutaneously once daily. Use for more than two years of a patient's lifetime should only be considered if high risk of fracture remains. And also patients may require supplemental calcium and vitamin D if their dietary intake is inadequate. As with all medications, there are some side effects or adverse reactions that patients may experience while using teriparatide. So we'll go over some of those here now. Some common side effects may be nausea, which happens at a rate of 9 to 14%. Arthralgia or joint pain may happen in 10% of patients. And up to 21% of patients may experience some sort of pain. The more serious side effects would be hypercalcemia, which would be low calcium levels, angina pectoris or chest pain as well as orthostatic hypotension, which would be a sudden drop in blood pressure when going from a seated to a standing position. Finally, some patients may experience a hypersensitivity reaction. All right, everybody, that's all we're going to talk about today with teriparatide or Fortio. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to combine watching my videos. If you found the information valuable and you'd like to help grow this channel, remember you can like the videos, share the videos, and most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. Good for today, take care.